Well, it's Captain Jim. I noticed that my videos are kind of fuzzy when I posted them, so uh, I looked at my camera and of course there was all kinds of seagull snot or something all over the lens, so I, go, I washed it. So hopefully we're going to see a cleaner video or more not so fuzzy here. It's, I might just go and have to junk the freaking camera and use my new iPhone 8 instead of my old iPhone 6. But uh, we're going to give a shot with uh, no U-turn. This is one I failed to open the other day. So let's give this one a shot. <clears throat> it's got the, uh, what do you call that keyway? Nothing fancy anyway. This one should be a pickable. But it's, uh, everything's all springy have to work off of this warding and that high reach is too reachy for that let's go with this DeForest diamond here that we got from Bosnia and Bill it's a, a multi-pick oh I felt a little core rotation there and I touched given one I think or two this is, they've got some spools in here. I felt another small movement. Pin one is binding and clicking. But I don't know if I, I overset it already because maybe not enough. Whatever the second Pin two is, I pushed it into something and it won't go up any higher. And I, look, I took my finger right off the trigger there to try to back spool it, but I think it might be stuck right under there. I'm thinking that the picking order is critical in this lock. Got to leave that crazy T-pin alone until the rest of them are set, I think. Oh, see a little bit of counter-rotation that time. And a tiny bit more, but it's really struggling to come back up. Yeah, see, look, she's, I can take my finger right off. I guess we're just going to have to let them all go. Yeah, click clack. I had three of them bound up there, it sounded like. So let's go to the back again. Click. And I felt a little grumble there, but I think four is just loose. Just the slightest, nothing binding up until I increase this tension. Oh, I don't know. I gave this one the name of no U-turn and uh, huh. I might not have to worry about that. I got nothing from that puppy. And you know when you put the key back in after a picking session, it's almost like you gotta get the whole thing sorted out again. Turn that far and that far, see? So it does work. Once more, come on, let's get her done. Jesus Christ, kids. <clears throat> I 
Let's try this shorter hook then. We got a full set. It felt pretty good, but uh, oh, man, it's right there, but it won't go. Oh, fuck me, we got it. Look, we dropped the catch wrench, but she's open. Ha <laughs> ha. Man, that was a tough one. Let's have a look what we got in here, kids. I hope this uh, camera clarity is cleared up. Like I said, there was some seagull snot on there or something. And shim. Where's the shim disappeared? Uh, there it is. Adding over there. Now, where's the key? There, I'm gonna turn that this way. Oh, yeah, we're good there. Set that aside for now. And then, number one, we've got a serrated. Come on. Number two is a uh, spool. Number three is a T-pin. Four is a, oh, and five fell out at the same time. So let's get the tweezers involved here. <clears throat> That's another uh, T-pin type. And then uh, number five is standard. In the Bible, we've got, let's get the bigger tweezers here, a shim, the damn shim is still in there, hmm. let's keep the shim under control, okay that's the back of the lock, so that's five with a T-pin driver, a beveled T-pin, that's what we'll call my T-pins. Uh, number four is standard, just a standard driver. Number three is a T-pin. Number two is a, another beveled T-pin. Now let's just call that a straight T-pin. And number five is serrated and it might have had it upside down. So that the serrations weren't even coming into play. And this guy, I'll take a chance that they're all the same springs too. Yes, they are. And like we did in the other one there, let's uh, let's take hold this in my hand up there at the, at the camera where we can see. But <clears throat> a little awkward. I have to put my hand around the back. Don't step on the stand. So you can see there's threading in one. It's counter milled in two. And counter milled in three, four, and threaded again in five. And in the pins, we've got uh, serrated on one, uh, spool pin on two, uh, double spool on three, spool on four, standard on five. And up top, we've got a T pin on five, 
standard on four, T fit on three, T fit on two, and it's rated on one to match that bottom one there. So that's not too bad. It was hard to open. That was about my fourth attempt. So there we have it. Thank you.